Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up today I'm here to give you guys my thoughts on some new Victoria's Secret fragrances they are new to me I know these scents have been out for a few weeks now some of these have probably been out for over a month I really don't know I don't keep up with the Victoria's Secret collections like that until it's brought to my attention so some of these are actually older and then some of these are from their new heat and tropical line so I gave you guys like a little sneak peek on my community tab and I showed you guys that my boyfriend had bought these scents for me and let me just clarify for you guys no he did not go in the store and actually smell these scents and pick out what was his favorite no i did not smell the scents prior to him buying them for me and then tell him what to get neither one of us had smelled these scents before so it was literally a blind buy and i ended up returning some things today because we went to victoria's secret so we're going to talk about it in a second here um, i'm just going to go through all of the scents that i have and i'm going to tell you guys what i think about them i'm going to compare them well compare some of them to some other scents that i have or what i think they smell like you know just give you guys like full rundown y'all know how I do when I get some new scents I like to just go over them and smell them and tell you guys what I smell and what I think about them so yeah if you're interested in all of that then just keep on watching so I'm first gonna start with this scent right here this one is blissful garden this is what the packaging looks like I actually only got this scent in the spray so yeah this one is frosted black currant vanilla orchid balsam fur I was thinking that this one was going to smell similar to pure seduction untamed and you guys know how pure seduction untamed was compared to sweet whiskey like it had that kind of deeper outdoorsy note in addition to the fruity fruit punch aspect of it so I was expecting blissful garden to smell like that since it has the balsam fir tree Christmas tree type note but actually these are pretty different so pure seduction untamed to me still smells very heavily of fruit punch it's a very fruity nectar type of scent and it does still have that kind of bonfire bash sweet whiskey almost smoky woodsy vibe to it but i feel like the berry note balances it out so much in this one because it's so fruity like this one is still heavy on the fruits this one you can smell the fruits as well but the balsam fur in this one is a lot more soft it's a lot more like almost creamy in a way like it almost gives this cream note to it so this one is nice and smooth it's not screechy and it doesn't smell heavy of like balsam because I'm not a balsam person like really I am not a balsam person at all but this one does not come off very screechy at all and it still holds its fruity aspect so you still can definitely smell that black currant I think this is a very nice scent this is definitely more of like a Christmassy type of scent though just because like the balsam definitely gives it a Christmassy vibe and the fact that it's really soft it kind of gives off a coziness as well so this one would probably be more so for fall and winter for me but I still really like the scent so I'm glad that I picked that one up the next one that I got from that same line is heavenly fruit again I only got this one in the spray and this is what that packaging looks like it's very pretty I actually really like the packaging on these scents these look like Victoria's Secret type scents so I really really like these package on um, the packaging on this so it's peach blossom magnolia petals white sandalwood this one is just your basic fruity floral scent it smells like peaches like apricot almost like it has this really juicy scent to it but then you also smell the florals in here like those magnolia petals it smells like a white floral scent and then it has sandalwood most definitely in the dry down for sure this is not like a very wowing scent this to me is basic like i said it's like your basic fruity floral has some sandalwood in there to pull it all together it's pretty it's nice but this is not something that i would like highly highly recommend or anything like that it's really just a pretty nice scent this one is great for parties and stuff like that so again i would wear this one more so in the fall and winter time for like festivities and special occasions it's nice inoffensive you know fruity sweet all of that it hits all of the things that you would want it to hit for like a special occasion go-to type fragrance but I think it's just you know okay it's not anything wowing now a scent that I do think is very wowing like this one caught me by surprise I was really shocked with this one and I only have it in the lotion like there's a whole lot of mixing and matching going on <laughs> with these scents because I don't have the lotions to those and for these I don't have the spray so this one is petal high and it's marshmallow flower elderberry nectar dancing with the breeze very very pretty packaging very spring floral esque type packaging and this one really caught me by surprise because I was thinking that this one was going to be heavy on the florals just like a fresh outdoorsy scent especially because of the packaging and it says dancing in the breeze 
this one is so very pretty this is the ultimate like delicate feminine airy floral scent for spring and because i have the lotion i'm not mad that i didn't get the spray because this lotion will be able to pair with so many of my fine fragrance mist so many of my perfumes like this will just be a nice base layer to put on and it'll smell sweet and it'll go with anything it'll go with more floral scents it'll go with more sweet scents because this one is just nice so it has this soft essence to it which i believe is that marshmallow flower don't ask me what marshmallow flower is i'm assuming it's a soft fluffy flower soft fluffy floral no i don't know but marshmallow flower it does smell really just soft and pretty and then that elderberry nectar it has a sweet like fruity vibe to it but it's not too too sweet it's not airing on the side of like sugary sweet or a super super heavy fruity scent it's just enough like it balances out itself with that marshmallow flower it's a perfect base layer so this one really caught me by surprise if you were to see petal high in your store in the lotion and the spray i would definitely recommend picking this one up because it's really nice the next one from that same line is rainbow shower and this one is vivid plumeria dewy pear this one is is good as well like seriously it's in the same boat as petal high i this one just really took me by surprise i i just really did not expect to like this one so this one is again a fruity floral scent it's balanced really nicely like the ratios in here is really really nice because you definitely smell that freshy pear scent it's definitely like really crisp and pretty but you also smell the plumeria the again airy floral just really breezy and easy like an easy breach type fragrance that's exactly what this one is and again it would be a nice Nice base layer to me this one would pair really really nicely with pear glace it'll pair really nicely with cucumber melon watermelon lemonade like all of those juicy freshy type body care products this one will pair really really nicely with that just because the pear in this really gives it like some fresh fruity aspect and it's just super super nice like the floral in this is super pretty you guys like this one was really really nice so like i said if you happen to see these in your store definitely pick them up i highly recommend these two just you know they're perfect spring scents they really are perfect and then the last one that i had and i think this is my last kind of oddball fragrance that i don't have a match to this one is solar sands and if i'm being honest i picked this one up because of the scent notes but mainly for the packaging i am obsessed with everything desert everything cactus because living in arizona it's just so pretty to me it's aesthetically pleasing and then i like how they did the back of the packaging so you have the scent notes up here and then it has some like coordinates i believe those are like grid coordinates and then it says mojave so it's just really really pretty on the back that to me is super nice i love how they did that so the scent notes are sweet acacia golden vanilla welcome the heat now this one i'm not the biggest fan of this is pretty though this is pretty i'm just not the biggest fan of it but this is another one that is perfect 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 for layering this is like a soft perfumey scent and it has a nice vanilla essence to it this one right here i was already thinking in my head what to pair with this one this one seems like it would go amazingly well with dolce and gabbana the one the original dolce and gabbana the one this is what i'm thinking of using as a base for that scent for that perfume because i haven't used that perfume in a while and i think it would be really nice to pull out for the springtime so solar sands is definitely one that i would pull out um this one would also go really really good with like Vose viva any of those kind of bright citrus fresh scents but have a vanilla dry down this one would go really really nicely as a base layer for any of those types of perfumes so i really do like solar sands and i'm happy to have it in my collection again for me just having those scents in lotion form i think it's really really nice because i can layer them however i want with other sprays and perfumes and things like that i think they're really pretty so i am happy that i was able to get those now let's talk about the heat collection because i did return some items from the heat collection and i just want to talk about it real quick okay so let's start with love spell heat because i did end up getting two of the love spell heat in the order that my boyfriend placed it was supposed to be a um pure seduction lotion actually i don't know how i ended up with two of the love spell heat sprays but anywho i ended up returning those today because because the love spell heat spray smelled like straight up sunscreen it was not good that sandalwood and that scent smelled so it almost smelled like pencil shavings 
mixed with sunscreen. It was just not good. I did not like it at all. It was something about the spray. And the fact that I had two sprays, because I smelled both of them, because I was like, maybe I got a bad one. Maybe I got a bad batch. And this is not how it's supposed to smell. But like I said, since I had two of them, I smelled both of them. And they both had that same smell. So I was just like, I do not want these. I'm taking them back. But the lotion, the lotion actually smells good to me. So I'm confused. But anywho, um, Love Spell Heat is Juicy Nectarine Radiant Sandalwood. So I expected this to be, you know, a citrusy sweet scent and then have the sandalwood to balance everything out. In the lotion, it definitely smells like juicy nectarine. Like it smells so good and juicy. And then the sandalwood is not too heavy in it. This smells like a summer, like a juicy summer fragrance. But in that spray, in that spray, it smelled like pencil shavings and sunscreen. So I took it back. I decided to keep the lotion and I will end up pairing this with something in my collection. Something will get used with this because I do like the lotion. So just so you guys know. And then um, we have Pure Seduction Heat. So I really like Pure Seduction Heat. Like I said, I had only got the lotion in the order because they were supposed to send a spray, but they didn't. So I ended up getting um, a spray today, but I had already knew that I liked the scent in the lotion. This one is Sparkling Raspberry Sunkissed Hibiscus. But just because of the mishap that happened with Love Spell, I decided to smell the spray in store before I bought it home. And I love it. It definitely smells like juicy raspberry like tangy juicy raspberry it does have a bit of a floral note to it as well but what I mainly get is like that original pure seduction fruit punch smell and then this like tart tart raspberry smell is really really nice so I love pure seduction and the flankers typically are always good for me pure seduction flankers are always a hit with me so I really do like this set and then I also ended up getting bare vanilla heat now I wasn't gonna get bare vanilla heat because y'all know how I feel about the bare vanilla flankers I just feel like they don't ever do a lot with the bare vanilla flankers sis I had to eat my words for this one okay I had to eat my words for this bare vanilla flanker because okay so first of all this one is spice mango solar coconut Okay, I read those notes and I was like, eh, they always say that it's going to be something different and it ain't. Baby, no. This smells like a tropical bear vanilla. This smells like a summertime bear vanilla. This smells good. So I do get a hint of like the spice mango. I do get a hint of juiciness, mainly when I first spray it. When it dries down, it definitely smells more closer to the original bear vanilla, but you still get like this tropical feel from it. There's something... There's something just tropical and fun and juicy about this bare vanilla heat. I definitely feel like there's some coconut mixed in here because it's um it's a bit more creamy than the original bare vanilla. There's definitely something more milky about it. But what's really getting me is that spiced mango. That juicy tropical note is there and it is so pretty, especially when you first spray it. So I am actually in love with this bare vanilla. I am really, really liking this one. I can see myself actually using this one this summer. It's so fun and I really, really like it. Like I said, I had to eat my words on the fact that they don't do much with the bare vanilla flankers because this one right here really took me by surprise and I think it is is so so good but I'm also going to be comparing that one to this other scent that they have which is called Palm Lagoon so like I said bare vanilla heat is spice mango and solar coconut and then Palm Lagoon is supposed to be mango palm and electric coconut so if you're wondering you know whether you should get this one or you should get the bare vanilla are they the same you know I'm here to tell you guys that they are very different more so in the sense that Bare vanilla is definitely heavier on the vanilla, the creamy coconut. It smells like bare vanilla. Like it's going to give you the essence of the original bare vanilla fragrance. Whereas Palm Lagoon is a lot more fruity and tropical. Like this one holds that mango all the way through. Like you definitely get the mango pretty heavy from when you spray it all the way through even to the dry down. But you still get that creamy coconut as well. So I mean if you don't want a ton of like the same fragrances in your collection I would definitely say pick one or the other. But if you are you know like a fragrance collector and you just like having fragrances they are different enough. They're definitely different when you smell them. They are definitely different enough to have both of them in your collection. So I actually really like Palm Lagoon. If you guys wanted to know which one 
one I like more. It would definitely be the Bare Vanilla Heat just because Bare Vanilla, the original, is one of my favorite scents ever of life. It's just they disappoint me every time they do the flankers. But because they didn't disappoint me with this one, I would definitely pick Bare Vanilla Heat over Palm Lagoon if you guys wanted to know. But like I said, this one holds more of the juicy coconut throughout the entirety um, of the life of the fragrance so if you want more of that juicy tropical feel go for this one um, and the packaging is really really nice on these I love how they did this tropics line the only one that I got from the tropic line is palm lagoon and then pineapple cold I didn't really want the other one it was like plumeria something and then the vanilla tropic I just felt like I didn't need another vanilla tropical scent so I didn't get that one or the um, plumeria one and that's fine I'm okay with that so the last scent that I got is like I said pineapple cold from the tropic line and this one is pink pineapple neon papaya so Pineapple is apparently all the rage <laughs> this season for like all of the um, body care and hygiene collections. Like pine pineapple is everywhere. It's pineapple this, pineapple that. So yeah, I had to go with Pineapple Cove. Now this one, this one isn't super sugary sweet. So if you're looking for more of like a candy pineapple scent, it's not this one. It's definitely more of a watery, more of a tropical, more authentic to the fruit type of fragrance. It's not like super candy, juicy type sweet. Um, I never smelled the Pink Pineapple Sunrise from Bath and Body Works so I don't know if that one is more sweet more candy like than this one but this one to me smells like a tropical vacation this one to me is more grown up it's not as candy sugary sweet like so if you're into that type of thing then I would definitely say go for Pineapple Cove the packaging is absolutely stunning very beachy very tropical-esque I really really like it so that is actually everything that I have that I got from Victoria's Secret and I'm actually really really happy with the things that I got like I'm actually pleasantly surprised really really loving on the things that I got from them so yeah that's everything that I had to share with you guys I hope y'all enjoyed this video and enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these products if you did you already know go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed it if you're new sis thank you so much for watching you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video and I'll see you guys in my next one peace